is almost here. Can you feel it? The Oscars are like a small number of days away, depending on what day you're watching this. And already, the crepuscal rays of self-congratulatory warmth are spreading out over the horizon. All across Greater Los Angeles and Manhattan Beach, producers, actors, and directors are starting to shoot out golden laser beams of pure self-congratulatory joy as they warm up for their annual routine in which they tell each other how good they are at their jobs. Has your cup of coffee gone cold? Hold it out the window. And a laser beam of just pure, aren't we awesome energy coming off the side of a producer's face will travel across the continent and hit your coffee and warm it up for you. And then you drink it and then it melts your heart. I'm Mike the Greek here on thesubstream.com and this is part three of our series of free, 100% accurate, guaranteed to be true or else you get your money back Oscar pool picks in which we help you figure out how to win your Oscar pools based on how freaking smart we are. When's the Academy Award the, for, our, for this? Where they're gonna say who got the best one? Cause I've gotta win it already. Grab your pens, grab your paper, preferably the same paper that you used in parts two and one of this series, which you can watch if you haven't seen them around in and around this square video, and write down what I'm about to use my mouth to tell you, because it's important and it's correct. And you're gonna use that information to win your Oscar pools, and you're not gonna give any of that money to me, because that's not what this is about. I'm in this for the good feeling of helping you. Like I said, if you wanna bring meat to my house after, you can do that. You can bring it to my sliced meat, smoked meat. I like any kind of meat except for chicken because I'm not gay. I can't say that. I don't mean, it's not obviously not, I didn't mean like, I can't, all right. Pay attention because we're moving fast. Best original score, Trent Reznor and the other guy win for the score for Social Network. Best sound editing and sound mixing. Two more technical awards for the perfect crystalline puzzle box of crazy sci-fi energy that confused the shit out of me, Inception. Best costume design, the King's Speech just pips the incredibly terrible but somehow popular Alice in Wonderland. You know why? King's Speech has got old, rich British people wearing hats. Do you know, which is, if you see an old, rich British person wearing a hat, especially from back in the day, that's a freaking good omen. If you're pregnant and you see the queen in a hat go by, congratulations, you're gonna, you're gonna have a genius baby. Best visual effects. Inception. <laughs> cool freaking van fall backwards into the <laughs> Crazy bullet go everywhere, fly around and they do the kung fu. <laughs> Joseph Gordon-Levitt in slow motion and I see his bulge in his crotch and it makes me con reconsider my sexual. <laughs> and now my friends, it's time for the favorite part of my day, the absolute mortal locks and the odds buster picks. The mortal lock cinch, might as well bet on water being wet, sure thing, guaranteed pick, best animated feature. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be Toy Story 3. A uh, duh. The against the odds, against the grain, upset the favorite pick of the day? This is good stuff, so listen. Everybody's been betting on Inside Job, the movie about the financial stuff with the prostitute to win the best documentary. However, go against conventional wisdom and pick Exit Through the Gift Shop, which I think is actually the best movie of the year, let alone best documentary, to win best documentary of the year. Hyper postmodern inverted prankumentary directed by a millionaire faceless criminal that calls its audience stupid? How can the Academy not love this movie? They will love it. Book it to win. I gotta go get a massage. Check out our Twitter, check out our Facebook. I'll be back later with part four.